Gamecocks. Tucker, clearance of space, and scoring. Tucker's now got nine. Well, he's just a tough guy. On the backside, so that Giga didn't get the open look. He does, though, from the short corner and makes sure to convert. The Giga's got a nice mid-range game. The battle of the posts. Giga, no. And the follow is good for Cunningham. And Christian Cunningham. He made his presence known defensively in the first half. Started out one for four from the floor in the first half. Now just one of its first six in the second. Three-pointer right in front of the Gamecocks bench. Drum right. Let's see if Jacksonville State can dump it inside again. Tucker off the screen. Shakes his defender. It's two. Well, Tucker just hello goodbye. Abused the defender. Two for Belmont. He would be a guy I'd try to get involved a little bit more. Tucker, he hits. Went with drum right to make a play. Greg Tucker, number one. Durham. Wow, their guards are so good. When was the last time Giga got the ball on the block for Jacksonville State? It's been a while. And it won't be this possession either. Tucker collects. Goes down anyway. Wow. Tucker's got 16. Five seconds for Tucker to the basket. Off glass. No. Another offensive rebound. Cunningham with a stick back. There's drum right. And a wide open look from three. He cashes it in. And the officials let him go. Fourth-seeded Jacksonville State takes down number one Belmont, and the Gamecocks are on to their first championship game in the OVC. This was a masterpiece coaching job by one of the masters in the profession, in Ray Harper. He's won four national titles, two at the Division II level, two at the NAI level. He led Western Kentucky to Sun Belt Championships in the NCAA Tournament and nearly knocked off Kansas in the NCAA Tournament. This guy gets his team to peak as well as anybody in America when it counts the most in March. This dude can flat out coach college basketball, Ray Harper. The OVC's number four seed, Jacksonville State, a winner against top-seeded Belmont, 65-59. They are on to the conference championship game for the first time. Ray Harper is their head coach in his first year here. You walked off the court, your hands were up in the air. You said, one more game. What were those last few minutes like for you? Oh, you know, our, our kids, they just... They, they're, they're resilient. They, uh, you know, Belmont is one heck of a basketball team, and Coach Bird, I mean, one of the best coaches in college basketball. And to meet the challenge here tonight, uh, like we did, uh, says a lot about our, our group of guys. And we had talked about we, we played them twice. They beat us double figures both times, but we didn't feel like we played well. And uh, you know, we, we lost a couple games in a row right at the end of the season, and went in and won our last game at Moorhead, and. You could see our confidence starting to grow, and uh, you know we've come in here and played two two really good basketball games. Ray, you shut down one of the most efficient offensive players in America. What was your game plan? To shut him down. I mean, we were going to double him. We were going to double him from a lot of different uh, areas. We were going to box him on him. Uh, j we just had to keep them off balance. Uh, you know, they're too good and too efficient to play them one way. And uh, you know, I thought we scrambled out of the doubles pretty well. Um, you know, again, I. It, it, it's a great win for our program. Uh, we were picked 12th out of 12 yeah. teams, and here we are with a chance tomorrow to, to play in the first ever NCAA tournament at Jacksonville State. You've won four national titles, two at the NAI level, two at Division II level. You took Western Kentucky to the NCAA tournament two times. Now you're playing for the championship in the OVC. What's the secret sauce of the March teams under Ray Harper? Well, you know, I, I think if, if you'd ask some of my players, at this time of year, I mean, we, we go hard. I yeah. mean, don't get me wrong, but what I want this time of year are fresh minds, 
fresh legs and confident young men. Guys that we, we talked about before we left the locker room, no heroes. Okay, we're, we're a band of brothers. If we're going to win this game, we have to do it together. No heroes out there today. And uh, I don't know if you saw us last night, but the second half, the way we played last yeah. night, if, if we play like that, uh, we'll have a chance to, to maybe win one more. One of the great coaches of the country, Ray Harper. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We know you got family waiting, uh, fans yeah. waiting, and hey. a game winner yeah. tomorrow as well to prep for as Jacksonville State wins at 65-59. Um, just, you know, just tell these kids how proud I am of how they competed. I mean, guys, that's, that is one heck of a basketball team that we just beat. Um, you know, they went 15-1 in the league for a reason. Uh, they got one of the best basketball coaches in all of college basketball. But, you know, these guys over the, we, we've grown up uh, over the course of the year. And, um, you know, they believed. We talked about it the last time we played Belmont. Uh, again, take nothing away from them, but we didn't feel like we had played up to our, our potential. Uh, too many turnovers and too many little things. And tonight, uh, we just made plays. We, we wouldn't be denied. I just saw guys that, that wouldn't be denied, that uh, you know, just made plays. I thought we got a little tight at the end of the game. Uh, the game was within our grasp, and we, whew, the one thing about Belmont, they're not going to quit. They're going to play irregardless of the score to the final horn. And uh, But again, we, we get a steal, uh, and then we go make a couple of free throws, and we move on, and one more to go. What we talk about every day. I mean, you know, this this not championship. This was this was to get us to the championship game, and uh, our kids understand that. <laughs> we left Jacksonville with one thing in mind, and uh, they, these guys know. We've talked about it, and you know, we don't have to talk about it here. But we didn't come here to to play one game. We came here for, on a mission. Coach, Coach what does it say about your team's defensive toughness holding a team like Belmont with 36 percent? Two, we are. If we're right, that's who we are. I mean, uh, I don't know. Last night we held SEMO uh, to 51 points. Uh, you hold Belmont to 59. Uh, if we can do that one more night, we got a chance. Coach, before the year, did you have a chance to uh, address the team and say big picture goals? Or, I mean, there were so many tasks when you take over the job. Uh, was something you addressed day one? Oh, well. We talked about uh, playing with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, when I saw the conference rankings, they picked us 12th out of 12. And uh, look, I, I, I coached a long time, played. I knew we, we damn sure wasn't going to finish last because uh, we were going to compete and we were going to get better. Um, we didn't have a first team all conference player, but yet we're playing the championship game tomorrow. We got to buy, but that's fine. We're, we're, that's not who we are. We're, we're a team, and that's how. That's why we're playing tomorrow night. We're not a group of individuals, guys. We're we're a team, uh, and, and we don't we don't need uh, the those accolades. What's the difference between the regular season and postseason for you guys? Well, I, you know, I thought we played played well at times during the regular season. Uh, these guys will tell you. I don't know. We played well on the road. I mean, we were six and two on the road. Our problem was at home. Um, now, late in the season, we lost. G missed what two games, uh, and we lost both of those. Cunningham was out the uh, the four game four straight games. We lose three of those. Uh, we just didn't. Ha we don't have a ton of depth inside to be losing guys like that. But. The thing we did was come to work every day and try to get better. Uh, these guys will tell you I'm hard on them. Uh, but it's all for, for one reason, because I care about them and I want them to have the opportunity they're going to have tomorrow night. And, you know, we'll throw it up and see what happens. Yeah, we were just going to put it in Malcolm's hands. And I felt pretty comfortable with what I'd seen that uh, we felt like we, we had them at the end of the first half when we did that, and uh, 
Tuck's man helped and we didn't kick. Uh, we thought they might help out of the corner. We'd get an easy three or Malcolm could get it all the way to the bucket. So, you know, I, I really wasn't sure they were going to foul there with 44 seconds, three-point game. Uh, but once they fouled the first time, now all of a sudden I knew that, hey, they're going to try to extend the game. And so we were able to get our free throw shooters in the game. But, uh, you, know, you know, hats off to these kids. They just, they just, they just battled. Stay out of foul trouble. <laughs> Don't get any silly ones. We, we, we need you. Uh, he's played well. And uh, you know, I thought everyone that stepped on the court uh, and guys that did not step on the court contributed. In some way, some fashion, I had guys that did not play one second tonight that contributed to this win because of their energy and their attitude on that bench. And if we can, we, if we can continue that, uh, we, we, we wanted to build a culture of winning. Uh, these guys will tell you, I, I talked about it a lot. Look, losing's a habit, just like winning is a habit. And we had to, we had to change some habits. But, you know, they, these guys didn't fight it. They, they, they bought in and, you know, I just, I, I thank them for, for their effort and, and their attitudes. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's something new, but it feels good. It's just a great feeling coming from last year, not even making the tournament to be playing in the championship. Now it's just a great feeling. I really can't really explain it, to be honest.